Good morning, happy Sunday. Oh man, it's been a while since I have worked both days on the weekend. Yesterday, I was super stressed out and like my brain was all scattered and I was just, okay, let me, let me put, I need to get this sample first. One sec. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, anyways, yesterday I was super scatterbrained and super stressed out and like, I don't know, some kind of anxiety situation where I was just, nothing was straight in my head. I was freaking out about this stuff, on my drug release study because I thought that it didn't work and I thought that my compound was decomposed and I was like about to like rage quit. I actually did rage quit and then I like came back and I was like, okay, like let's just call me, look at this data. Turns out it hasn't decomposed and my drug release study might be working actually. That was good news. Okay, I need to switch the solvent. Yeah, so that was good news because my brain was in such a state. I just decided to go home and like calm down before I do anything. So here I am. Uh, yesterday I went home, cleaned my whole apartment. And then this morning I like sat down and really planned out everything. Like listed out all the deadlines I need to meet for my thesis submission. What kind of deadline I should be giving myself for my experiment, how much time I should be designating to writing, factoring in TA work, factoring in my internship, and here I am. It's going to be great. So today, the plan is to run those samples I just took off of the life Eliza on the UPLC, and then start my drug release study again in replicate this time because I did it once, so I need to do it multiple times to, you know, make sure it's like accurate. So because tomorrow, I actually start my internship, so I'm gonna be working Monday, Tuesday at the company. Today I'm gonna to start time zero, and then bless Noju's heart, she's going to collect the aliquots for me on Monday and Tuesday, so tomorrow and Tuesday. So I need to label out the tubes for her, make everything super clear, and yeah, that's my plan. First, let's get this instrument started, and then we can go check on the cells and prepare my samples. Okay, it's gonna be a great day. Let's go. Okay, okay I'm just labeling these tubes for no jude. Uh, okay, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Okay. Let's go run these. Ooh, drop one. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I have less samples to run today. I started with a total of 10 samples, but then six of them aren't releasing anything. So I'm just gonna move on with the four. Don't know if that makes any sense. Let's just put this into here and let's run it. Okay, so while my samples are running on the UPLC, I'm going to go check my cells now. On Thursday, I had seeded like three flasks preparing for each scenario. So like one flask has a lot of cells, one flask has less cells, and then the other flask has very little cells. I was anticipating each situation where I would want to repeat the study right away a little bit later and not at all. So I'm gonna go check to see how confluent each flask is. Let me show you. Look at my three flasks. Okay, let's pull them out. Ugh. So let's start with the least number of cells. Oh no, okay, okay, I thought they were dead. <laughs> okay, so there's some dead cells, but as you can see, it's not bad. So the ones that are like still floating after I shuffle it around, like the floating ones, those are dead cells. So you usually have to rinse it. Okay, so this is the least number of cells. Flask. Up next, higher concentration. Okay, so more confluent. Yes, yes, more confluent. And then the most confluent one, which I'll be using today, is this one. Oh, there's a lot of dead cells. Oh, that's thick. So I think I'm gonna take this flask, the one with the most, and then the medium flask, and use both of these today. This one I'll leave to grow over the week. So let's slice these cells mechanically. Here are my two cell pellets. Can you focus? 
yeah you see those the pellets so nice so nice okay so i'm gonna remove all of this PBS here, resuspend it in a smaller volume, and then I'm gonna transfer it to these tubes that are going to be put in the homogenizer. So these little beads here will uh, actually break the cells. How cool is that? How cool is that? Okay, let's do it. Okay, well, the battery is flashing red, so it's gonna die soon. So I can't show you. I think I showed in the last vlog. I'm just gonna put it in the homogenizer and spin it and check the concentration of the protein with nano drop and then incubate with the nano particles. So I will see you when I see you. Hello, happy Wednesday. This is the first day that I am back at the UBC lab. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Monday and Tuesday were my very first days at the company as an intern. It was really nice. I'm really excited about the people that I'm going to be working with, the projects that I'm going to be working on, and just like learning a different aspect of nanomedicine. So super cool. But the commute, the commute was just not fun. So I'm really happy to be back here, super close. And yeah, let's go get on with some experiments. And let's go say hi to Jamin. He was so cute. He sent me these clips from Monday and Tuesday. I'll put them in now. Hello, happy Monday. Today is the first Monday we have the video without end. And today also her first day for work. Hello, happy Tuesday. Oh, hello. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Oh, <laughs> You're so cute. Yeah, the only regret for the video I sent you is that my face is Why? It's so big. No, it looks really good. See, your face looks good here too. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Ah, bless Noju's heart. So I left these tubes for her and like labeled all the instructions and stuff on Sunday, I think it was, so she can collect for me the 24 and 48 hour time points. And she did it, it's all here. Oh, so grateful for her. So then today I will collect the 72 and 96 hour time points. So tomorrow should be the last day. Oh my. When did the show up? And yeah, I'll see the results on Friday on the UPLC. So I booked the UPLC all day on Friday. And today also I need to check the stability of my particles, which I will do now. Okay. Feels good to be back here. Okay, so at my internship, they use these five milliliter Eppendorf tubes. They're huge. So usually we only use like the 1.5 milliliter one. Let me show you in comparison how big this is. Okay, so this is 1.5. This is five next to it. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. So this is super convenient, like the 5 milliliter is super convenient because like if you have anything above 1.5, you have to either use like two Eppendorf tubes or like, you know, a glass vial. So I'm gonna go give one of these to each of my lab mates to see what they say. <laughs> one for you! Oh, oh no, wrong one! <laughs> Volumes bigger than 1.5? You you never run into like three milliliters? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Five! Oh, wow. So you could put three milli look Domin. 
Did you steal it? Oh. No, Sam gave it to me. Sam was like, Sam gave me this whole bag and he was like, give it to your lab mates and He's sell like, them on this. <laughs> oh my god. Because he was like, this is this changed his life and it did change our my life our life, his life for formulation. Isn't it cool? <laughs> Where's any kind of this tube holder? You use the same holder as the 15 mil. Really? Yeah. Hello, hello, happy Thursday. Happy Thursday with this obnoxious pimple. <laughs> I think I'm stressed. It's going to be fine. As you can see, I'm back in my office and I moved my screen back here because I really need to focus and get writing again. So the past few weeks, I've been pretty distracted with like experiments and then starting that internship. So I really need to like buckle down and start on my thesis now because for my second paper that got rejected and my third paper that I'm still working on I'm still missing some data for both of them and I'm just waiting on that for my experiments to finish and finalize and stuff so so in the meantime I, I should really focus on my thesis so today at 1 p.m. I'm scheduled to go over imaging again with the technician person in the basement so last time we were on zoom and he was just showing me like his screen so that I can tell him what kind of nanoparticles I'm looking for and what you know what should be expected and stuff because he's never imaged my particles before. The staining wasn't great and the concentration wasn't optimized. So I dropped a new batch of particles down last week and we we're supposed to image them today. But he emailed me yesterday saying that the like sample slide or whatever of the SEM isn't working. So there might be a chance that we'll have to reschedule. So I'll know in a bit, I guess, how that's going. Okay, I'm going to get writing now. But look how gloomy it is today. Ah. It doesn't look so bad on the camera, but it's so gloomy. Vancouver. Okay, okay. Check back in with you later. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I need to document this. <laughs> what? That to we're leaving? Today we spent all day sitting next to each other writing, but we were both unsuccessful. We yeah. Yeah, we didn't even write, but we were next to each other, and that's what's important. Say bye. Bye. Good morning. Happy Friday. I'm finally gonna run on the UPLC all my data from the drug release study. Yesterday, unfortunately, I wasn't able to image my nanoparticles because the SEM slide wasn't working again. So it got pushed to next week. Hopefully today, at least I can collect this data. Okay, let's go. Let's go prepare all my samples. Wow, look at all my samples. So many samples to run today. Seven and a half hours. Oh, you can see. Seven and a half hours for my run to finish. Oh dear. So I'm gonna sporadically check on it from upstairs so I can do a remote connection, make sure things are running. So let's go upstairs and work on my thesis. Hmm? Why that? I don't know how to show you this. Like, it's just not a flattering angle. Anyways, hello! Hi! How are you doing? Not good. Why? I'm reading Dr. Lee's comments. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is round two, right? This is another manuscript. So how many rounds have you passed it to him already? Oh, this is the first one. First round? Yeah. Ah, yeah. So basically, usually we write our draft, send it to him, and then he sends us back with comments, like, you know, under the edit function on on Word. And it's always awful. It's always a, a stab to our self-esteem and, like, motivation and self-worth. Maybe not so much for Noju. Oh my god, he's gonna see this. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> 
Anyways, it's very sad and I've just been sitting here also being sad writing my thesis but no writing was done A little bit Little bit No, Jun had on her music You wanna show your music? No Okay <laughs> She has a selection of music that will remain a secret But anyways We'll do better next week, right No, Jude? Mm, maybe Yes Definitely Oh, the chair's in the way For sure Okay Thank you so much for watching We'll see you next week Bye